Good afternoon, guys. We have a BMW that the cooling fan is not working. So I found this code into the computer. Now you want to make sure that you have number one at zero volts. Number two is at 12. Pin number three is the signal coming to the computer to make the fan turn on. The main power feeds it and number three is gives it the signal. So when I do this test, I use component testing and I bring up a scope. So when I set my scope up, I set it for 10 volts and then 50 milliseconds for the time. This will give you an idea of what the pattern should look like when you hook it up to this setting. Once I have the scope set, then I go and I minimize the scope. And then I go back to my scanner so I can go to the functional test and turn the fan on and off. So once I turn it on and off, you can see that this fan does not have any kind of signal going from the computer to the fan. This is why the fan is not working or working properly. So once you see that you don't have a signal on that pin, now I want to go to the computer on pin 4 on this one and see if I have a signal there. Well, I had my signal going from the computer, but it wasn't reaching the fan. So this means that there must be a broken wire in between the fan signal and the computer. Well, we did find a broken wire on that fan, but you know, this is how this system works. You also can use, if you're using a multimeter, just go to the duty cycle and then you hit your fan on, go to your scanner and hit again your fan to turn it on and see if you can watch your duty cycle. Now, whether this is on a voltmeter or, you know, your regular scope. So using a duty cycle, you're going to see when I start it, it's going up to 90%. That means that the fan is at a 90% turn on. So it should be really screaming at you. There is no set way on checking this system out. You can change whatever you need to do. So like on this, I'm going to change it to 10 volts and then at 5 seconds. So now when I split and I turn on the fan again, you're going to see the signal. There's your signal. And then you're going to see your fan move. This is a way, and a lot of the BMWs are this way, so it doesn't matter what BMW it is. It's going to work this way. So I hope you enjoyed this YouTube. Um, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. This way you can have the newest video on how to diagnose a car using volts and a scope. Soon ATRguide.com will give you the information and the patterns that you need. I am working on it and it soon will be up. Thank you so much for watching this video.